Welcome into George Jones Gymnasium. We've got another 4A4 matchup tonight between uh, this time your Pottsville Apaches and the visiting Subiaco Trojans. Uh, Subiaco comes in with a gaudy record tonight, Justin. Uh, si 16 and 1 overall. Man. Uh, 7 and 1 in conference. Moralton is the team that beat them. Yeah, and yeah. what a game <laughs> that right, had it been. Right, <laughs> had it been a great game. It was at Subiaco. In fact, these two teams match up again on Tuesday night. And so that's going to be a good one. In fact, we may actually carry that one on our ASN channel. That we, We're looking into that right now. Uh, they're announcing starting lineups right now, so we'll go ahead and give those to you as they come out. Uh, number 11, Gregory Martin, Jr. Number 4, uh, Nick Dye Saunders. We got number 24, which we did not see him the first time, is Barrett Newton. Oh. We've got number 12, and he is Tayshawn Wallace. And number 23, Elijah Roker. So, you know, we, we've heard a lot about Subiaco from, uh, from their side. I know that a lot, they feel really good about their team this year and uh, how good that they actually are. Uh, Pottsville's got their hands full tonight, but we saw the other night at Moralton that Pottsville played very, very good basketball. They didn't win the ball game, but look, Moralton is a top three team in the state right now in yep. 4A. So, you know, Pottsville getting Subiaco here on their home court, this is not an impossible thing, but we know Pottsville runs the best when they can hit some three-pointers. That's a key to tonight's ball game. It really is. Brad suffered a 17-point loss to Subiaco at their place last time. And after that game, this Pottsville team has been playing different. They really have. They've been playing more confident. They've shot the ball extremely well from beyond three-point line. And if they can just stay close, they can have a chance. You know, Pottsville has played good basketball, they really. Um, I mean, honestly, as, as good as you would probably – would think that they could play um, since, uh, I don't know, since the Hoops for Hunger tournament. They yep. they came out and showed well in the, the Hoops for Hunger tournament. Yeah, got uh, a win. They, now they got a win, but they lost to Russellville. They lost to uh, Little Rock Southwest, but two really good teams. Very, very good teams. So, anyway, we're ready for tip off. Subiaco controls the tip, and Subiaco will bring it across the timeline here. As they get it inside right off the bat, shot up, no good. Offense, oh, oh my, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, I, oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't ready for right, that one, Brad. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number 24. Here we go. Here we go. That was uh, one heck of a start there for Subiaco. I have never in all my life seen that in high school basketball. Nope, not a putback dunk like that. I have seen a lot of high school basketball. I have never seen a straight up and down put back dunk. Pottsville on the steal, but Subiaco gets it back. No reset on the shot clock there. And what do we got? Well, it looks like we got a double foul here, maybe. Maybe what we're calling. No, I think I think they're uh, about the shot clock. Okay, like. okay. So anyway, Subiaco with a, a, a crazy start. What's 24's name again? I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to still get my, my names in here. Uh, 24 is Barrett Newton. Yeah. And uh, they pull three, and that's a good one. Great start here for Subiaco. And, uh, you know, they're they're here, and they're 17-1 and one for a reason. Yep. And, you know, this is a team that I believe they expect to be in – you know, deep into the, the state tournament this year. Three from the corner by Fryer. It falls. That was a big one there. It was. Needed that one bad right there. 5-3 is the score. Now Subiaco has it in the front court. Yeah, we were watching in warm-ups, and uh, Mr. Newton there, number 24, Subiaco, he could just jump out the gym. Yeah. And, and he was one, like like we said before, we did not see him. Three-pointer no good. Good rebound there by J.C. Jones. Now Pottsville has a chance to tie it. They get it up court. Williams has it. Kicks it back to Jones. Jones back to Williams. Now Pottsville's going to set up an offense. I say that. Williams, oh, oh my. my gosh. 
That's a jumping jack, folks. I, I, I'm speechless right now. Three-pointer from the corner, no good by Subiaco. And all of those are flashy plays, but Pottsville still only down two points. But you obviously have got to be aware of where Barrett Newton is. Every time you have the ball. Good move good there by pass JC. by Jones. Gets it in to Landon Williams. Landon Williams puts it in for two. 5-5 five, five here. Two, kind of a matchup zone here for Pottsville. Good, good job there, and they threw it over the defense, but Newton was unable to uh, finish there. Pottsville's got a chance to take the lead here. Fryer has it. He's being bumped a little bit on uh, by the Subiaco defense. Super plays tough defense. They really do. Well, they're and, in your face. And that's something that they're always going to do. Yes. Fryer with a little pull-up, 15-footer. Not a bad shot there by Fryer. You like that shot, actually. Just yep. didn't get it to go. Subiaco trying to get it inside. We got a foul. So the ball will be inbounded underneath. Now, I'm not totally sure about this ref at the back, but we got two Northwest Arkansas refs here. Three-pointer from the corner, no good. Good job by Pottsville. Good job, J.C. Jones, getting the box out there. Yep. Drawing a foul. So right now, Subiaco really not shooting the ball all that well. Not a lot of flash, but still five to five. Pottsville has it. That's Fugate. Fugate puts it on the deck. Good nice pass. job. Gets it to Brodigan. Brodigan's fouled. We Ooh. got oh yeah, we got an injury on the court here. Yeah, he rolled his ankle coming down. Yeah. I'm not a fan of low top sneakers. He got way up there too. A lot of force coming down. Brodigan going to the free throw line here. <clears throat> Foul was on Elijah Roker. First shot by Brodigan is good. Twenty-three getting a breather there for Subi. Who's in this place here? Number twenty-five. Yeah. He's a pretty tall, young man too. Subi's loaded this year. Yeah, they are. But Brodigan hits two free throws. Potsdam's got a seven-to-five lead. Three-pointer from the wing, off, no good. You got to keep him off the board. Good block by Brodigan there. Yeah, it was. Getting it inside again. Trying to be a little too fancy. Nice, nice hustle by Pottsville, and Pottsville comes out with it. Skeet Fugate with it. Fugate, tough kid, man. Got to give is. him a lot of credit here. Good spin move, Williams, and he's blocked. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to belong to Pottsville. Three minutes and 52 seconds left here in the first quarter of action. They didn't hurt his offhand there. Ball inbounded to Brodigan. Back to Jones. Jones gets in the lane. A little up and under. Ball knocked away. Ball back on the ground. Jones has it. Gets it to Williams. Williams puts it up for in, wow. in for two. Great start here for Pottsville. Hustle. Yeah, all hustle right it's there. It's got to be tonight. You've got to put it all on the line if you're going to stay with this team. I mean, they're all, they're ultra talented. They're obviously athletic, and Pottsville's doing that right now. Little pull up by Fugate off front iron, no good. And uh, I'm going to gripe a little bit about today's basketball. The reason they're not being able to hit that shot, they don't practice it. Nope. They shoot enough. that three pointer, and they shoot it a lot. But uh, still, good start here. Three-pointer from the corner. Barrett Newton shoots the three, no good. And again, Subi not hitting their shots. Now, for Pottsville here, they're up four. They need to try to get this lead extended here while they've got the opportunity. Fugate pulls a three. That's got a chance. Shot no good, though. Rebound comes away to Subiaco. Subiaco in transition. 
gets all the way in the lane, shot up, no good. Rebound, it's gonna be off of Pottsville, gonna to belong to Subiaco. Two minutes and 40 seconds left here in the first quarter of action. Have, have you noticed I'm not coughing Yahoo. too bad, right? Right? Yeah, oh yeah, not at all, <laughs> but uh, barely here. Well, it's, a, it's an improvement, right? It's a vast improvement. <laughs> Well, we'll talk about my remedies later. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Pottsville's got it. And uh, we've got uh, Landon and McNeely into the ball game. Jones gets in the lane and he's being pushed. We got a foul on Subiaco. Like his aggressiveness all the way around. They just keep up this tempo right here. Coach Tim Tinkley is going to take a 30 second timeout. We'll take one with him. 219 to go here. In the first quarter of action, Pottsville leads 9-5. to five. We'll be back in a moment. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. We're back here at George S. Jones Gymnasium as it's two minutes and 19 seconds to go here in the first quarter of action. And uh, Pottsville leads actually nine to five. And are Pottsville going to inbound the ball? J.C. Jones inbounding the ball. Fryer back on the court. Jones gets it. Now we got Fugate. Fugate puts it on the deck. Trying to get a back door there. Nothing going on. Pottsville's going to have to get it moving here. They do. Fryer has it at the top of the key. 15 on the shot clock here. I got picked. Ball on the ground, and nice job again by Fryer. Pottsville is there. Good job. They, I mean, they are having to fight. They also got to get it across half court here, and Pottsville got bailed out because that was going to be a 10-second violation, and uh, Pottsville got bailed out. That's okay when, it, when it's your good guys, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, can't complain too much. 140 to go here in the first quarter. McNeely gonna ball screen. Jones pulls a long three. It's off front iron, no good. Rebound comes away to Subiaco. We've got a, a foul, and it's gonna be a charge. Oh, Jones wow. gets the up. charge. Nice job there by Jones. And uh, Potts will play it hard tonight, playing well. And I know that Coach Tim Tincleave had to know coming into this ball game, knowing that, you know, Potts will play very well at Moralton. They didn't win the ball game, but played well. That they were going to have their hands full tonight. And uh, so far, that's what we're seeing. Not going to get any quit out of these Apaches. Fugate has it on the wing, puts it on the deck, and he's going to be fouled. That's going to be two free throws here as we are in the bonus now. 104 to play, and I tell you, the body language for Subiaco right now, not good if you're a Subiaco fan. I'm happy with it. <laughs> if you're a Pottsville fan, you love it. 10-5. I don't expect perfection from any, any young man because it's hard enough, but I just expect try, and that's what I'm getting from these boys. They are trying hard. First free throw was good. Second free throw, no good. And uh, now Pottsville falls back into his zone. Now you got to watch. Number five, he is their designated three-point shooter. Ball, get, ball gets into the lane, and uh, Tayshawn Wallace going to go to the free throw line. In the first meeting between these two, it was Caleb Cowell that uh, shot the three pretty well. And so Pottsville, you know, a, pr a primary zone team, they've got to know where Caleb Cowell is at all times. First free throw is good there by Wallace. So 
Well, after a quick start by Subiaco, this is the first points they've had quite some time. Second free throw, no good, but they get their own rebound. Three-pointer by Wallace, no good. Wallace is not shy. He's been shooting it up there. He hadn't been able to connect. Little floater, no good. Rebound, battle, comes away to Pottsville. His ball is knocked out of bounds. Shooting percentage for, for uh, Subiaco right now, not good. Not good. Not what they were looking for. But you got to wonder. you got to wonder if they'll be able to come out of that or not. Yep. 33 seconds to go. Four-point advantage for the Apaches as they bring the ball across half court. Double high screen, trying to work off of it. Williams has it. Williams looks like they're going to call him for a travel. You know, Pottsville hasn't shot a lot of three-pointers here in the first quarter. Still yet, they still have a lead as uh, they're actually just one for two from behind the arc here in the first quarter of action. 16 seconds to go, shot clock is off. It's hard to shoot the three when they're in your face the whole time. Well, it, it is <laughs> a whole different type of defense than what they see other than against Morrillton. Mm -hmm. Morrillton's gonna play that type of defense too. And uh, Tayshawn Wallace gets one to drop. Fugate pulls it from a long way out, it's no good. Subiaco closes the lead just to one but Pottsville goes into the second quarter up 10-9. Stay tuned. I'll give you some remedies in just a moment. You're watching Pottsville basketball on ASN. <laughs> we all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. Thank you to all our fine sponsors that make this happen. Tyson Valley Distribution Center, River Valley Realty, McNeely Plumbing, the U.S. Air Force, the Granite Shop, Heirloom Legal, and Roy's Heating and Cooling. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a remedy here if you are struggling with the cold. If you listen to the uh, broadcast on Friday night, boys game, I came through it, but the girls game, I could barely speak. I almost had to turn it over to you at one point, Justin. Yep. But I found a remedy online called the flu bomb. And it's uh, cayenne pepper, honey, tea tree oil, uh, ginger, and hot water. Garlic. Gar well, no, yeah, garlic, minced garlic, that's right. Ball on the ground here is J.C. Jones, top of the key. We got a foul, it looks like, on Subiaco. But anyway, struggling through the game as I did, I felt like I needed to figure out something. Tried some other remedies that Justin gave me, and uh, that didn't work. So, <laughs> so anyway, it, it actually did help a little bit. But with that being said, the flu bomb has helped me more than anything, especially for a cough that has been lingering for now like two months. Jones pulls a three. He's fouled on the three-pointer. And, you know, I, I don't understand the disbelief on that three-pointer or th the attempt there. It was a foul. I mean. Yeah, he got him clearly. So, Jones going to the free throw line here. Three shots. Pottsville's going to have to really stick it out this whole game. They're going to have to battle it out if they want to win this ball game tonight. And, I mean, every possession counts. So, this is big for Pottsville. Two new ones coming into the ball game for Subi. Look, well, it's going to be on the next free throw. Mm -hmm. So, it looks like Caleb Cowell is going to be one of them. And then Darian Roll is going to be the other. 7.29 to go. Jones puts the second one in. Not the start that Subi was looking for, but it's exactly the start that Pazzi was looking for. Third free throw up and good. You know, I don't see, what I don't see is a, a big student section here for Subiaco. Of course, I know in the postseason they'll, they'll start traveling yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they will. <laughs> By the way, this Subiaco team, the most recent game they beat – Ozark 74-33. Ooh. Yeah. So, of course, we Ozark's not a bad team. No, they're not. We saw them 
Pottsville and Ozark are kind of battling in that 3-4 spot right now. But, you know, Pottsville can really acquit themselves nicely here with the victory tonight. Three-pointer on the way by Cowell is no good. And uh, we got a foul. Looks like the foul's going to be on Sutterfield. So we'll just come into the ball game. Subiaco will inbound the basketball. 7.08 to go here before half. A nice little floater there. Shot no good there by Tayshawn Wallace. Pottsville in transition. Pottsville really doing good on the boards tonight so far. Uh-oh. All the way. Shot up. That's good right there. And, uh, boy, you could have got a foul there. Yeah. Roker puts it in for two. That's Aaron Roker, 13-11. Jones being double teamed and balls on the ground. Jones has it, but he's trying to get away. Can't get away, Subiaco comes away with the turnover and we've got a foul. I'll tell you what, I think the referee got kind of caught in between there. Didn't know to call mm -hmm. a foul or a travel. He got the foul. So uh, Landon McNeely gets the foul there. 13-11 here, 6.24 remaining in the first half. Got a feeling this is going to be a pretty intense game. You know, uh, you know, through the years here, this has been a nice kind of rivalry, uh, if you would call it that. You know, these two teams, I think they're the first conference game with each other, right? Yeah. Seems like that was the case this year especially, but I feel like it's, it's that way basically yearly, so... These two get a chance to start it off right here. Jones pulls a long three-pointer, no good. That was a tough one there. In transition, Roker, we got a block, and we're going to get two free throws out of it. Roker going to the free throw line. Good attempt by J.C. to set up for the charge there. He can get his feet set. Aaron Roker at the free throw line. First shot up, good. No good, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. I knew it was no good. <laughs> Glad I didn't hit the button. Right. <laughs> Second shot up is good this time. One for two at the free throw line. It's a one point ball game. Skeet Fugate back into the ball game. Landon Williams, Landon McNeely, Will Sutterfield, and Cade Brodigan. We need a basket this trip down the floor. I haven't seen this lineup too much this year. Williams, he's got that. I like him shooting that three there, but that one was well off. He knew it when he left and left his hands. And now Subiaco all the way to the basket. Good shot, defense no by good. Sutterfield. Sutterfield now in transition. Somehow gets it to Landon McNeely. Williams in the corner. Three-pointer by Sutterfield, no good. Cade Brodigan with the rebound. He tried to save it. Now Subiaco on the break. All the way to the hoop. Roker shot good. Need to settle down this trip, gain our composure here. 14-13 now Subiaco with it. We got a charge. Cal's going to take the charge. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give you my opinion on that play. We've gotten to a point in basketball, especially in high school, where you don't post up anymore because when you do post up, as soon as any contact is made, it's charged. They've got to change the rule. Yep. They've got to or at least change the emphasis. You're taking the post game out of the game by doing that. That's my opinion. Nobody truth. asked for it, but I gave it. It's the truth, though. It is something, you know, we, we do state tournaments, and I do call that, and I called it in the state tournament last year. You got to let the post guys play a little bit. And, you know, every time there's a bump or every time there's, you know, any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of physical activity down low, it usually is a charge. And we got to figure out how to, to stop that.
Good, good pass. pass there. Brodigan gets it inside. Nice job. Good play there. And he's going to go to the free throw line for two. Very heady play there by Cade Brodigan. Uh, we like his game. I like his game a lot. I like the I like the smarts of a kid that's a sophomore. Yeah. You know? And so he's down there now. He's shooting his free throws. Two shots here. Her shot good by Brodigan. We got some, by, some CB Echo fans down here doing a good job of trying to get him to miss some free throws here. Second shot, good. What he, he got a hat and glasses. Okay, so what he doesn't understand, at least this was from my point of view when I was playing, I usually didn't hear the crowd. Nope. I, I, the crowd was there. You knew it was there, but you didn't really hear it, you know? No, you're playing what's in front of you. That's it. But still good opportunity anyway. Cal pulls the three off. No good. Big rebound there by Williams. Good play there by Landon Williams. Fugate gets it up court, gets it to Jones. Jones tries to go baseline. He's cut off. Williams has it, gets in the lane, tries to get it to Brodigan. Ball on the ground. That had, uh, somebody had to be out of bounds there. But Subiaco going to come away with it anyway. 3.29 to go. Good D, Landon Williams. Pottsville on the turnover now. Nice pass by Fugate. Gets yes, it sir. to Cade Brodigan. Brodigan puts it in for two. Great start for Cade Brodigan. He's got six. It's 17-14. Three-pointer on the way. Off back iron, no good. Jones oh. crashes the boards there, but he's down on the ground, and Subiaco going to get the basketball. And I, I don't know if... I don't think I could have got up from that that fast. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> Even when was, I was his age, I wouldn't no, get up that fast. You, especially now. You definitely not. <laughs> no. I don't think I'd be getting would. up at all. I wouldn't be able to get up there anymore. Nice play and great shot there by Saunders and probably should have got a foul there. Well, he just ran into uh, uh, Austin I mean, James' I, arm I, there. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But, boy, a lot of times you're getting a foul there. Nice shot oh. by James. James just couldn't put it in. It's too close to the basket. Yeah, he's definitely a three-point specialist, no doubt about that. I appreciate his willingness to get down in the post, though, and muck it up. Speaking of the three-point specialist, Darian Roll puts one in for three. That's just the third three-point basket there, but it gives Subi a 19-17 lead. We got a uh, charge. I just uh, I don't I don't like everything uh, being a charge. I just don't. Somebody help me out here a little bit, but I, I just I just don't like it. I'm not talking about it just being Pottsville. I just don't like everything being charged, and that seems to be where it is anymore. Not a fan. So, Subi has the ball up two now. You're just changing the whole game when you take the, take away the block entirely. Tayshawn Wallace going to the basket, puts it in for two. Nice job there by Wallace. Williams pulls the three, Got it. and I'm telling you, I love that the kid can shoot the basketball. He's he's one of the. I would call him one of the top three point shooters in the league. Would you? Would you he's, call yeah, him that? Yeah, if he ain't top three, he's top five because there are some good ones in this league. And really, as far as just a pure three point shooter, you. You know, Austin James is one of them. Cal pulls a three, no good. And Wallace puts it in for two. But as far as just a, pull, a pure three-point shooter, he's as good as they are. He pulls another Got one. Got it again! Listen, I've watched a lot of basketball. I'm telling you, the kid can shoot the basketball. He can shoot it. 58 seconds here in the first half, tied at 23. Nice jumper there by Saunders. Saunders puts it in for two. And Fugate almost walked. Jones pulls the 17-footer. James 
goes up, gets it over Cowell, and now Subiaco has it, and that's out of bounds there. 35.2 to go. Shot clock and game clock are going to line up, so shot clock is not really an issue. Yeah, not really an issue here. Pottsville's going to get the ball as the ball was dribbled out of bounds off of or on the line. It was a close one, but it was right. Fugate pulls it. <clears throat> Fugate is a streaky three-point shooter, and he just knocked another one down. Three straight possessions, three straight threes for Pottsville. This is what they do here, and it's 26-25. Crowd's into this one here. 16 seconds to go. Pottsville with a one-point lead. Darian roll out at half court. He's going to work off the screen, kicks it out. Wallace has it, kicks out. Good ball movement by Subiaco. Three, dropped it. Nice job by Saunders. And that's going to bring us to the half. Subiaco goes in with a two-point lead. What a great half of basketball here. Good game by both teams. We're going to take a little bit of a break. We'll come back with stats and analysis. Here you're watching Pottsville and Subiaco in 4A4 action right here on the Arkansas Sports Network, and we'll be back in a moment. Handoff over the right side. That's balance. Look at the man. Bust is out of there. Uh -oh. He's outside. He's got one man to beat, and he does it. He's at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Dean looking down Gotta the field. get field. rid of it. He's flushed out of the pocket. Yeah, He's got man. stepping up wide open. That is Landon Martin, and, and that is another touchdown right there. And Elkins just put themselves right back into this ball game. Quarterback's back to pass. They're blitzing. That's Alexander chasing him, 58 as well. And it's picked off. He steps in front of his man. That's number six. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Bigelow. Easton Platt, just a sophomore. Ball at the 15. Back to throw. He's got all kinds of pressure. He's got oh, he's good. Taylor's he's got, got a lot of room. He's going to get close quickly, but oh, he makes a man miss. He's get in. in. Touchdown. Touchdown. Hector wow. Wildcats, Jackson Taylor looking like Matt Jones out there. First pass of the ball game. There's Goff, and he's got room. He's going to score. That's a touchdown. We got, hey, we are going to have to mute our mics with the music because the music will get us kicked off. So, But we, you can watch the little dribblers right here at halftime.
All right, we're coming back here and uh, got the chance to see those kids dribbling out there. Teams of tomorrow. Good, uh, good little program they have here in the Russellville area. We're going to give you some stats and some, some analysis here in first half action. Uh, got teams coming out of their tunnels. Uh, <clears throat> Subiaco shot 2 of 4 from the free throw line for uh, 50%, 31% from the arc, 4 of 13 for the Trojans. Pottsville, on the other hand, shot better percentages, um, but uh, Subiaco was able to take the lead by the time it was all said and done. 57% behind the arc. They were 4 of 7 from the uh, three-point line and uh, 8 of 9 from the free throw line. Yet still, Subiaco comes away with a 28-26 lead out of halftime. So uh, we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, we'll have second half uh, action here between Pottsville and Subiaco. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now, because our focus is on your success. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues. We're planning on open All right, back here, and uh, we'll get Heirloom Legal Commercial in next. But uh, appreciate you joining us here. Pottsville basketball as uh, Subiaco gets the ball in the second half. Starters back on the floor for both teams. Subiaco running a little weave out of the top, looking inside. They're being double teamed down there on the baseline. 14 on the shot clock now for the Trojans. Good little floater, off back iron, no good. Battle for the rebound comes away to Landon Williams and Pottsville. You know, Justin Pottsville's held their own on the boards. They have. It's been tremendous for them this game. Fryer pops out. He's at the top of the key. Subiaco really face guarding J.C. Jones here in the second half. He's going to have to work for the basketball a little bit. You can't just allow yourself to be taken out of the game. Yep. Fugate has it. Four on the shot clock. He pulls a long three-pointer off. No good. Rebound comes away to Subiaco. Now Subiaco in transition. They get it up the floor. Shot up. That's good. Nice play there by number 23, Elijah Roker. Williams puts it on the deck, goes baseline, nice strong drive, in and out, no good though, on the, the shot, Subiaco now in transition again. Little jumper by, uh, uh, let's see, here. yeah, Newton, Barrett Newton, it didn't go, Pottsville has it. Got to get to my names again. Sorry, Brad, we forgive you. Jones has it, Pottsville down four now. Ball on the ground. Williams comes away with it. Gets it to Jones. Jones kicks it out. Fugate thought about the three. Gets around his defender. A little shot up. Floater. Nice job there. By Skeet Fugate. Put it in for two. He's got six. 30 to 28. Subiaco leads by two. We got the Moralton crew down here, by the way. All these guys down here are from Moralton. Oh, yeah. So I recognize watching, them when they walked in. Here watching the ball game tonight. Three-pointer from the corner. Nice job there by... Elijah Roker, he puts it in, 33-28. Brodigam now has it in the front court. Really nowhere to go. Kicks it out to Fugate. Little ball screen action. Try to get the fryer ball knocked away. 14 on the shot clock. 5.26 to go here in the third. Pottsville going to inbound. Fryer pops out. He has it. He's being guarded by Martin. Nice drive by Fryer. Off backboard. No good. 
Brodigan gets the rebound. His shot is blocked. That wasn't a block. That was foul. <laughs> we, we got Landon Williams. Landon Williams is uh, going to go to the free throw line. Williams playing really good ball tonight. Yeah, he is. Going to the free throw line for two shots. He's, he's got 10. That was his first free throw attempt at the ball game. Second shot up, good. Every time that boy says miss, they make it. <laughs> Pottsville shooting the ball pretty well for the free throw line. Nine of 11 for the ball game. Get it into the high post. Try a little high-low action. It was nothing there, and uh, Pottsville will get the ball back. J.C. Jones has it. Going to bring it across the timeline. Ball knocked away. There's a steal. Get up on the break. Easy dunk. Saunders puts it in for two. Easy peasy, right? Yeah. Cannot take lazy passes when you're getting guarded like that. Jones trying to work the offense. Subiaco got a six-point lead. Tough shot by Jones there. Now, got a traveling violation. We zoomed that in just a shade here. We, we zoomed it out for Tots. Never really zoomed it back in. Fugate has it across the timeline here, 417 to go. Brodigan puts it on the deck. Ball knocked away, battle for it. We've got, uh, looks like maybe a foul yep. that they're going to call here. Just a shade there. That'll work. Fugate going to inbound the ball. 4.07 to go here in the third quarter. Fryer gets it. Landon Williams. I'll tell you what, hand down, man down if you're Landon Williams right now. Yep. Shoot that basketball. Fryer looks at the back door. 17 footer off, no good. Potzel's getting baited into shooting that 17-footer quite a are. bit tonight. There's nothing wrong with it. A lot of it anymore, a lot of people call that the worst shot in basketball because it's a long two-pointer. You know, I mean, you know, I don't know how you feel, how some feel about it, but uh, that's a tough shot. It's a tough shot when you're not practicing it a lot. You know what I mean? Three-pointer from the corner. Oh my goodness! Blocked by Newton. All the way out front, Subiaco, we got a foul on the floor. They're going to put it on the baseline. And I'm telling you, man, <laughs> Newton gets off the floor fast. Newton gets off the floor quickly. And I'm telling you, if you're going to shoot it over that guy, you better put it up to the ceiling. <laughs> you got to put that Scotty Thurman touch on That's it. That's it. Backside off the zone. Good ball movement by Subiaco. Shot no good, rebound, comes away to Subiaco. Three-pointer, no good, but we got a foul. Williams gonna pick up the foul, going to the free throw line, Tayshawn Wallace. So he That's, fell out on him over here, it wasn't a foul, but he touches him over here and it's a foul. Well, I, I would call that a little more than a touch there, Mr. <laughs> Pottsville. <laughs> no. I mean, I know we're calling Pottsville game, but there's a little more than a touch there. <laughs> Wallace puts the first one up good, second one up good. He's not wasting any time. He gets that basketball and shoots it up there. Wallace has got 10 now. And uh, uh, he don't even dribble, he just puts it up there. Cade Brodigan with the rebound. Pottsville needing some offense here. Really struggled from the last part of the, the first half to third quarter now. Subiaco really turning the defense up. Wallace puts it up. Shot good. We've got a timeout. 
on Pottsville. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take one with them. Make sure you get that uh, heirloom legal in. 3.05 remaining here. 39-29 is the score. And 3.05 in the third. We'll be back in a moment. Here comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. We'll let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and Top 5 Dealer in the Nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. We're back here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of Pottsville Apache basketball. And uh, Subiac are really off to a good start here in the second half. And um, Pottsville needing something good to happen offensively pretty quickly here. You don't want this one to get away from you. Subiaco comes into this ball game 17 and one for a reason. They're good. Yep. Nice job by Jones getting it to Landon McNeely. McNeely puts it in for two. 39-31. You can live with that shot right there if you're yep. Pottsville. I'll be happy to watch air balls all night. Easy now. He's not <laughs> air balling every one of them. He's hit a couple. He just, just saying, you can live with That's the <laughs> shot you can take. You can live with that one if you're Pottsville. Well, you're going to have people calling up here <laughs> tomorrow. By the way, that's Justin. <laughs> yep. I'm Brad. I'm the one staying down the middle, just so you know. When you make your phone calls. <laughs> High, low action. Gets, my goodness. Barrett Newton puts it in for two. He's going to the free throw line. He is strong, man. Just like quick, quick off the ground. I mean, when you can put the dunk back like you did on the first play of the ball game, I mean, He's obviously athletic. They should have got him for a violation there, though. He, he come over the line. It didn't matter. Free throw didn't go in. He didn't wait till that ball hit the rim. No, he didn't. Landon, ready for college. Right. Ball knocked away again. Subiaco on the break. All the way. Wallace puts it in for two. Another timeout. Coach Garrett Hill. He's just trying to figure something out to make something happen here. Trying to keep his kids in the ball game. 43-31, another full timeout. We'll take it with them. 156 to go in the third. We'll be back in a moment. We all love to eat. Whether discussing our daily meals or our special holidays, family gatherings, and even tailgating celebrations, Petrus Farm and Grill, located in central Arkansas, can help elevate your experiences. Petrus Farm and Grill has over 10 great seasonings and two delicious barbecue sauces to choose from. Use our special blends alone or feel free to mix and match to your own delight. Find our sauces and seasonings online at PetrusFarmGrill.com. There you can also find one of our great dealers in communities near you. Thank Petrus Farm and Grill for that, being a part of what we're doing here. Justin, if you don't know, is a Pottsville guy. If you're, of course, you're watching the Pottsville broadcast. Most of you are Pottsville fans. Some are Subiaco fans that are watching tonight. I'm sure. Probably got a, a sector of people that are not fans of either. Just catching a good ball game. So, I, I do have to say though, it's it's a, being a basketball fan. It's hard for me not to cheer for Subiaco. You are a basketball guy, and, and there's Wallace all the way puts it in for two. I tell you what, they've got a lot of kids that can do that. And yeah, Wallace is looking good here in the second half. 16 points total, and uh, I mean they just keep breaking out. Pottsville down 14 now. And one thing they've done here in the second half. You know, Pottsville or Subi always plays defense, but they have really turned the defense up. Little backdoor lob shot up good by Roker. 
And I mean, it turned what, it on the what, second what, half. What I'm trying to think here. What was the run here? It was 26. It was 26, 25 right before half. We got yep. a foul. Joe Jones going to the free throw line. So you can say that's a 22 to like five run yep. there. Supi showing why they've only lost one game all year long. This Pottsville team is playing good basketball. Yep. I mean, this they've Subi's had to play really more. Good. They had to play Morlton on Friday night. They didn't get that in between game. Mm-mm that they were trying to get because the game was canceled. Who was it? Dardanelle. If Dardanelle is no slouch, that would have been a tough ball game. Yeah. This is the toughest stretch of the, of the season for Pottsville as far as the games go. And so they're trying to get through this stretch as they go back here. And we've got a violation. As they go back after this game, schedule lightens up a little bit for them. Of course, they've still got to make up the Dardanelle ball game. Yep. But, uh, February 1st, you said? February 1st, that's correct. But anyway, with all that being said, Pottsville's played good basketball. Wallace puts a three up, no good. So what, what they're doing right now, Subiaco, is very impressive. Nice job by Jones. He's fouled on one. two. Nice job. Puts it in. And the one thing that we will say for sure is Pottsville – they're not going to quit. Nope. They're not going to quit. They've got some hard-nosed kids. They're not going to quit. It's still just a 13-point game. I mean, you know, it does feel a lot more right now because of the how run. Subi has played, because of the run. But, I mean, it's not insurmountable. And one thing Pottsville can do is shoot threes. They haven't shot many tonight at all. No, they have not. And that's, a, a, you know, Subi Echo has yeah. a lot to do with yeah. that. Subi's taking them out of their game. Nice little floater there. Good job by Aaron Roker. He's perfect from the field tonight. He's three of three. He's got six. Fryer has it. Shot clock is off. J.C. Jones pulls a three. Off, though, good. Nice rebound by McNeely. Good job there, big fella. Looking like a football player out there. Sometimes you just got to have him, though, right? You just yeah, got to have that type of kid on the floor. 13-point advantage for the Trojans. Nice finish again by Roker. Tell you what, they they really their break looks so good lately. Fugate, that's who you <laughs> want to shoot that one. I was just about to say that. He's been Mr. Last Second Shot here for Pottsville. He puts another one in, gets the lead to 12. It's 51 39 as we go to the fourth quarter. You're watching a great ball game here. It's been a fun action. 51 39 Subiaco with the lead. We'll be back in just a moment. Every one of us starts out as a wide eyed recruit. Myself included. If I could go back, I'd tell that kid, get ready. You're going to serve alongside some amazing people. They're going to become like family to you. And together, you'll see and do things that will help change the world. That will change you. One day, you're going to look up and be a better you. And this nation will be better for it, too. I'm General Dave Goldfein. Come join us. Your nation is waiting. We say it a lot, but we appreciate these guys right here that you got on the screen here, Tyson Valley Distribution Center. Tyler Riley, give him a call at 970-5079 for all your real estate needs. McNeely Plumbing, the U.S. Air Force, the Granite Shop, Granite Countertops. I know they're popular. Granite Shop's where you want to go there. Heirloom Legal, they're, they are great. They've been great to us. Who was that other one? Who was that last one? I should know them by heart, right? There we go. Roy's. Roy's, Roy's yeah. Heating and Cooling. Appreciate Roy's Heating and Cooling. Andrea James over there helping us out. She does a great job. Hand down, man down. Landon Williams almost knocked that one down. But uh, Subi has it. So now, right now, if you're Pottsville, you got to come up with some defensive stops here early in the fourth quarter. Try to get yourself to a point where you feel like you can attack this Subiaco lead, that ain't going to do it right there. And, and one of the things that I said earlier is Pottsville needed to make a move when Subi wasn't hitting shots or hitting shots now. They're hitting shots, and so it makes it even more difficult. They get it up. Cade Brodigan is going to be going to get fouled there. The ball was stolen, but it was a reach in. Deshaun Wallace didn't like the call there. 15-point advantage here for Subiaco. 
They're uh, they're trying to move to 18 and one on the season. I believe eight and one in the conference. They've got Moralton on Tuesday. That is going to be Heck one that a lot of team or a lot of eyes in 4A are going to be watching. A lot of eyes because that's that's your you know Arkansas Sports Network. We put out a poll every week. And uh, Subiaco is four, and Moralton is three. These two teams played each other earlier in the year. Moralton actually come away with the victory against Subiaco at Subiaco. And so you got two really good ball clubs playing against each other. Right now it's not totally over here, though, but Pottsville needs some offense very quickly. Yep. Fugate, he's instant offense in a lot of ways. He pulls the three, no good. Williams gets the rebound. Shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Shot up, no good. And uh, I'll tell you what, the athleticism there is just tough to handle. Yeah, it is. So he's a good squad. And I'll be surprised if they don't uh, run deep into state Well, this year. and one of the things about Subiaco is you know when you play them, they are going to be well coached. Yes. <laughs> they are going to be well coached. How long has Coach Tinkley been there now? 1980. Oh, 1980, wow. yep. Yeah. I mean, he's been there longer than I've been alive. Yeah. So, it's clear Subi has their guy. <laughs> not much longer than I've been alive. Well, how, how about the guy to follow that guy, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like luck. <laughs> following Nick Saban some ways. Be the guy to follow the guy. I was – I don't say I was surprised by the Alabama hire. I was surprised by how quick they hired. Yeah, they went fast. Of course, they also knew they could get about anybody they wanted to. Yeah, all they had to do was say the word. Yep. Shot by Wallace is no good. We got a foul. Five fifty-seven to go in this ball game. You see Washington's uh, quarterback transfer to Bama today. Really? Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Good backdoor yep. cut landing Williams. Nice play there. And Williams puts it in for two. He leads the Pottsville Apaches with 13 points. We got a timeout, Coach Tim Cleave. He's going to try to get some things corrected on the court. 5.36 to go in this ball game, 54-41. Subi with the lead. We'll be back here in just a moment. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. Thirteen point lead for the Subiaco Trojans. <laughs> Jaden Harris, great video and skills from Cash. There. <laughs> you know. Looks like we got eighty-two concurrent viewers. This is the most we've had for basketball this year. Of course, most people. It, this is just kind of the time of year that people get into it. Mm -hmm. Pottsville's played well lately. I just think, really, when you get down to it in this conference, there's two teams that are above the rest. And everybody else is kind of playing for those spots behind them. Great drive there by J.C. Jones. We talked about it at nauseum. We've said it a lot. Is that, you know, between really Pottsville's got to figure out a way to finish the district tournament above Dardanella Rosa. Yeah. That's really what it boils down. This season boils down to that very thing for Pottsville. And, you know, those those guys are going to be saying the same thing about Pottsville. You know, yep. there's three spots. I, I've said Clarksville. I've included them in there. I'm not going to include them in there now. No offense to anybody. I'm just saying. Man, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Pottsville handled. Well, that's happened, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pottsville handled uh, Clarksville pretty easily. We got a chance to see them. 
you know, we could go to Clarksville and it could be a big time different ball game. Of course, the district tournament is also in Clarksville. That makes a difference as well. And as far as record goes, Cade Brogham's shot is no good. As far as record goes, Clarksville, as far as the conference record, they're in it. Yeah. But anyway, they're still, I'm, I'm going to include our, the uh, Ozark, Pottsville, Dardell. Those three teams, you've got to figure out a way to be in the top two of those. I think that nice job by Jones putting it in. I think, like I said, Subi, Moralton, those two teams playing for conference supremacy, and then everybody else kind of playing behind that. I mean, nice drive there by Wallace. Rebound comes away to Subiaco. They got a foul. They're going to call that after the fact. Oh, they said he got him on the head. Eh, it was probably a foul, just a late call. <laughs> just a late call there. First shot up. In and out, no good. That's Elijah Roker at the free throw line. Missed both of them. 61-45. Boy, just, when you pick your dribble up. There's a nice one, big three-pointer knock down there by Fugate. Pottsville's going to take a timeout. We'll take one with them. 3.55 to go in the ball game. 61-48. We'll be back in just a moment. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today, Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot. Because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. There comes a time in all of our lives when we need the help of legal services. Well, let Leah Jacobs at Heirloom Legal at 425 North Church Street in Atkins be your go-to when you are needing assistance. If you're needing a will or a trust, maybe you're helping an elder parent with Medicaid issues or planning on opening a brand new business, maybe you have another legal need. Jacobs can help you plan your next step. That's Heirloom Legal, helping families build and protect their legacy through estate, elder, and business planning. Call 501-819-2553 and walk-ins are welcome. Back here, gosh. I don't know why that soundboard does that. But we're back, a nice pick there. Jones has it. He's gonna try to get this lead back to 10 points. He does. Just, well, 11 points. Just when you think it's, it's over, it's not quite over just yet. Oh, got a foul in the corner. Fugate doesn't agree with the call there, but uh, Looked like a foul to me. It was. I looked like yeah, a foul. Yeah, that was. I, mean, I, know, I don't know what to say. It looked like a foul to me. I remember playing, though. I remember not thinking I fouled. I remember. <laughs> Pottsville doing a good job moving in the zone right now. That's hard to do. Oh, this, uh, good Subiaco back. team's got a good... Passing that like was that. A great find there on the back side. Uh, something that you really just didn't expect. I'll tell you what, Roker is having a ball game. Aaron Roker, he has got Jones pulls the three. Jones getting hot here. And it's 63 53. Little skip pass. Brodigam comes up with it. Pottsville needs a, a bucket right now. Brodigam kicks it out, mm. but ball is tipped and stolen. Jones going to pick the foul up there. It's just that athleticism. You don't see every team doesn't have it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Aaron Roker's got 19 points tonight. Tayshawn Wallace with 16. That's free throws for uh, Subi there. Pottsville sends... Subiaco into the bonus. Gregory Martin going to go to the free throw line. I feel like Martin played baseball when we were calling baseball back yep. 
two years ago. Uh, playing shortstop, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're right. First shot, in and out, no good. Leaving that door open just a little bit. I mean, it is, is it cracked. And when I say yeah, cracked, cracked, I mean, it's just cracked. But Pottsville can hit a shot or two here. 64-53, they got to work quickly. You don't have time to monkey around here. Three-pointer on the way, <laughs> good. Oh. Fugate's got four of five now. And uh, here we are, eight-point ball game. Oh, uh-oh. You start feeling that pressure just a little bit. Now, mm -hmm. eight-point ball game with 219 to go. Pottsville, their specialty, shooting three-pointers. If they're able to get a three-pointer in this possession, it's a five-point ball game, and then it gets real here. So let's, yeah. let's see what happens. Jones has it. A little behind the back dribble. He's feeling it right now. He gets fouled. He's going to the free throw line. Jones got a chance to cut this thing to five. Are you kidding me? Ball game. And a good one right now. That's a good one for sure. Jones going to the free throw line. He's four or five. He's got 15 points on the night. First one is good. I love the effort by this guy in front of us. I Me really do. Second one good. <laughs> he tried something different that time. It didn't work. I'm <laughs> telling you, when you're out there, you are tunnel vision. You're yep. just, just tunnel vision. Will Sutterfield back into the ball game. You got uh, Sutterfield, Brodigan, Fryer, Williams, and J.C. Jones. Jones 6 of 7 now at the free throw line, 2-10 to go. 64-58, trying to make it 3 of 3. And he does. We got a five-point ball game, folks. Mm -hmm. I think the no foul. Subi led is by many a 16 at one point here. They do a decent job of breaking the press. Put it in for two. Elijah Roker gets that. 66-59. You just got to keep playing if you're Pottsville. You don't have a lot of time. You got to get you got to get it going. Jones pull back, pull up three. Probably got fouled on that one, and uh, he didn't get the call that time though. He don't miss the shot that that uh, that much. Either it got blocked or he got fouled. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Barrett Newton can put on a show, folks. I see if I got that one. You don't see too many lobs in high school. Two-handed flush there. I mean, just unbelievable. It really was. Nine-point lead. That's probably going to be enough here with 133 to go. Pottsville made a great effort here. I know they're not quitting just yet. Fryer has it in the corner. He is being hounded there. Gets it out to Fugate. Fugate thought about pulling it. Little step back three-pointer. I love Fugate's game, man. He is fearless. What we got here? We got ball out of bounds. What we got? Did you see? I mean, they didn't call a foul. No. Three pointer by Fugate. No good. Rebound comes away to Subiaco. Sixty-eight fifty-nine. Trojans with the lead. Newton has it. Shot up. No good. Rebound comes away to Subi. And we got a shot and uh, going to the free throw line. Elijah Roker. Here's good. the difference. Last game at Subi, 17-point loss. This game, we're down by nine. Good effort here, really. I'm Pottsville's playing better basketball now than they were when they went to uh, Subiaco the other night. They really are. They really the, the, they get the unlucky scheduling of having to play Moralton and Subiaco back-to-back -back games. Yep. I mean, that, that, didn't, that definitely didn't help them any. But, uh, you know, I, I feel – like Pottsville has an opportunity here to, to run a few off here at the end of the season and play, you know, play better basketball. And, you know, again, you there there are two teams right now that, unless things just fall apart, there are two teams right now that Pottsville needs to be worried about that's Dardanelle and Ozark. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, Fountain Lake's two and five in the league. 
Clarksville is four and five, so you've got to throw them in there a little bit. Pottsville's going to fall to five and five in the league here. Jones pulls another three. It's off. No good. Ozark is five and three in the league right now. That makes a little difference, but Pottsville has the head to head against the, them. Yeah. So, and they also get them at home, so that helps as well. Well, we get a, I guess, Fugate foul out there. Subiaco going to move to 17 and one on the year, and uh, eight and one in the league. Again, like I said, they've got Morrillton. Really, really good basketball game coming up. We're going to try to have that on the Arkansas Sports Network. Basically, while you and I, while you and I go to Waldron, I'm going to try to send a crew over there to uh, to Morrillton. Three pointer on the way by Williams. I'm telling you. <laughs> Telling you, pure shooter there. Yeah, yeah, it was a great Se shot. 71 62, 21 and a half to go. We'll take a quick break and be back in a moment. Every one of us starts out as a wide eyed recruit, myself included. If I could go back, I'd tell that kid, get ready. You're going to serve alongside some amazing people. They're going to become like family to you. And together, you'll see them do things that will help change the world. That'll change you. One day, you're going to look up and be a better you. And this nation will be better for it, too. I'm General Dave Goldfein. Come join us. Your nation is waiting. Twenty-one and a half to go, 71-62 here. Brad Caldwell and Justin Smith along with you. It's been a good ball game here, Subiaco, unless uh, something crazy happens here. The uh, Trojans are going to pull out a victory. But uh, Pottsville has acquitted themselves very well tonight. They've played good. They've played, uh, you know, uh, you know, when you're a Pottsville fan, you say, well, uh, we want to win. Well, of course you want to win. But, you know, this the Subiaco team has only lost one game for a reason. Landon Williams gets the steal. Jones gets the three up. Oh, oh. in and out, no good. That right there would have made things a little bit more interesting anyway. Uh, 11 and a half to go. And Subiaco going to go to the free throw line. But these kids have played hard. Give them a lot of credit. They played well. You know, again, for a team that's 8-8, eight 5-5 eight, five and five in conference, I think Potsdam is a team that you really wouldn't want to see in a postseason matchup right now. They play pretty hard. They're playing pretty good. So, you know, you just got to be able to take that with you into the next game. And what? District B to Clarksville, crazy things happen in the Clarksville gym. Yeah. <laughs> really do. Elijah Roker going to the free throw line. He knocks down the first one. He's two of five from the free throw line. Make it three of six. 73-62, just trying to figure out what the final margin will be. Jones pulls a three. Off, no good. Subi gets the rebound. And that's going to do it. Final score here, 73-62. We'll be back here in just a few moments as we wrap things up from George Jones Gymnasium. You're watching Pottsville Basketball on the Arkansas Sports Network. Hand off over to the right side. That's balance. Look at the man. Busts out of there. Uh -oh. He's outside. He's got one man to beat, and he does it. He's at the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Dean looking down Gotta the get rid of it. He's flushed out of the pocket. Yeah, He's got job. stepping Man. up wide open. That is Landon Martin, and, and that a... is another touchdown right there. And Elkins just put themselves right back into this ball game. Quarterback's back to pass. They're blitzing. That's Alexander chasing him, 58 as well. And it's picked off. He steps in front of his man. That's number six. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Bigelow, Easton Platt, just a sophomore. Ball at the 15, back to throw. He's got all kinds of pressure. He's got, oh, he's good. Taylor's he's got, got a lot of room. room. He's going to get close quickly, but oh, he makes a man miss. He's in. in. Touchdown. Touchdown. Hector wow. Wildcats, Jackson Taylor looking like Matt Jones out there. First pass of the ball game. 
There's Goff, and he's got room. He's going to score. That's a touchdown. Dax Goff, 15 yards off the right-hand side. Every one of us starts out as a wide-eyed recruit, myself included. If I could go back, I'd tell that kid, get ready. You're going to serve alongside some amazing people. They're going to become like family to you. And together, you'll see them do things that will help change the world, that will change you. One day, you're going to look up and be a better you, and this nation will be better for it, too. I'm General Dave Goldfein. Come join us. Your nation is waiting. Everyone tells you to think about the future, but there's power in the process. We value this moment because at ATU, every moment brings you one step closer to what comes next. You've got this. Right here, right where you are. Focus on the now because our focus is on your success. D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. A name you've come to know is the Arkansas winner of the Quality Dealer Award and top five dealer in the nation by the NIADA. Hey, I'm Dare Saul. Thank you to all of our loyal customers who's made D3 Auto Sales the number one used independent in the state of Arkansas. Customer service and community has always been our main focus here at D3. Why are we different? It's our people and our vehicles look different. Your color, your style, your financing. Call me now, D3 Auto Sales in Desarc. The numbers were where you wanted it, but uh, just not enough of them on the scoreboard for Pottsville tonight. Again, Subiaco is a very good ball club. And, uh, you know, again, I don't, I don't think there's anything to hang your head about if you're a Pottsville Apache fan. Not at all. And Pottsville Apache player. And I don't think there's anything to hang your head about. I think that, uh, you know, they acquitted themselves well. Now, when you look at the schedule for Pottsville, Next broadcast will be at Waldron next week, uh, January 23rd. We'll have a week off. We'll be at Mina the next week, and then uh, we're going to have a back-to-back -back here. We'll be at, at Dardanelle at uh, Fountain Lake, and then they'll be wrapping things up here. So, I mean, it's going to happen pretty quickly here. Final two games of the season, one versus Ozark. That'll be at home. And then we'll be at Clarksville. So four of the final five, actually five, yeah, four of the final five games are on the road for Pottsville. That's a big deal. I can tell you, you know, you know, you feel like you can beat Waldron. You feel like you can beat Mina. The Fountain Lake game, going to be a tough one. At Darnell, going to be a tough one. Those are back-to-back -back nights as well. Yep. So that's tough. Had that happen so, to me before, having to play back-to-back -back like right. that. And uh, just Third. what happened, we had to play the same team back-to-back. -back. And then they got to come back and play Ozark. That's going to be a key game there. But uh, anyway, Pottsville playing well. Um, you know, they've got a chance really. You know, they're 8-8, eight 5-5 and eight, five and five right now. But they've really got a chance to break that record out a little bit. You know, win a few ball games. Uh, you know, win some, win some conference games and uh, get themselves in a good position. All of it, we talk about it, doesn't necessarily matter except for the district tournament. A lot of this is who's going to wear the white jersey in the district tournament. I mean, so some of this is what it breaks mm -hmm. down to. And then who are you going to play? And then, you know, you're you're probably going to have to to beat, a, you know, like a maybe you have to beat Ozark or maybe you have to beat Dardanelle. The thing that you want to do, if you're Pottsville, you want to try to be in that three seed so that you don't have to beat Dardanelle to to get there. That yep. would be, I mean, honestly, it's a tough draw. It's a tough draw. When you've got to play Dardanelle season on the line, you know, you want to try to avoid that. You don't want to have to play Ozark at Clarksville to to continue your season. Yep. And I will say this, you know, you're looking at this, the first matchup might be Clarksville, and you're having to play them on their home floor in the district tournament. So, I mean, there's a lot of scenarios still out there, still a lot of games to be played. But basketball season is rolling. <laughs> it is winding down. It is coming to a close here very quickly. We need a home stretch. That's right. Let's throw our local sponsors up real quick as we wrap things up here. Again, we want to appreciate everybody here, Tyson Valley Distribution Center, Tyler Riley, 
Call him up, 970-5079, yes. Uh, River Valley Realty for all of your real estate needs. McNeely Plumbing, the U.S. Air Force, the Granite Shop Heirloom Legal, and Roy's Heating and Cooling. Well, guys, we're going to wrap things up from here. Again, next week, we're actually pretty light. We only have one ball game. It's going to be at Waldron on the 23rd. Uh, you've got at Mina on the 30th. And then you're going to have some, you got three games there in that week, which will be, uh, Darnell will be in that week as well. Of course, weather permitting, weather's been crazy uh, around here lately. And, uh, well, uh, Arkansas. And, right. <laughs> well, well, you know, you. I feel like, I'm just going to tell you, I feel like we're going to get a little bit more. Yeah. I so I, I, I'm a weatherman and I'm also a, uh, a nurse apparently because I'm giving people <laughs> remedies. They need. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you for joining us here on the Arkansas Sports Network coverage of Pottsville Apache Sports. Uh, it's been a good one here. Unfortunately, your Apaches fall to Subiaco 73-62, the final. And uh, we'll be back next week at Waldron. See you then. Have a good weekend, guys. 